Welcome to this tutorial about line and area styles. I want to show you how to automatically change the appearance of hatchings, lines, patterns or fillings based on drawing type or scale. To show you what I'm talking about, I'll change the scale from 1 to 200 to 1 to 50. You can see that those two walls behave differently. The upper one didn't change in appearance and the lower one did change in appearance. Let's have a look in the settings of the upper wall. The upper wall consists out of two wall layers, each assigned to a different layer. The masonry part of the wall is assigned to the architectural wall layer and is drawn in a fat continuous line. The insulation of the wall is assigned to the architectural la layer wall insulation and is drawn in a 0.25 black pen. You can see the surface elements are fillings, color number 24 for the masonry and color number 9 for the wall insulation. Let's compare it now to the settings of the other wall. You can see the assigned layers are the same, only in the surface elements we can find a difference. Instead of using fills, we use style areas. Style area masonry for the masonry part of the wall and style area insulation material for the insulation of the wall. Those style areas are responsible for the dynamic behavior of the lower wall. Let's see how you can adapt those style areas to your personal needs. You open the default settings and go to line styles, area styles, drawing types. In this window, you can adjust and create new line styles or area styles. You have the choice between scale de definition or drawing type. For the purpose of this tutorial, I would like to show you the scale definition. Remember that we drew the wall with a continuous fat line. In scale 1 to 50, it should be a 0.7 pen and an orange kind of color. In a scale 1 to 200, we can see we use a different pen and a different color. If I now change the color here to black, this change will be shown once I apply the changes to this line style. Let's also have a look into the area style settings. I open up the masonry area style and can find the gray filling I see in the background. This gray filling is right now assigned to the scale of 1 to 200 and I want to change this to black as well. Once I hit OK, you can see already that the line color has adjusted and once I switch over to the scale of 1 to 200, I can also see that the filling is now not gray anymore but rather black. As you can see, working with drawing types and scale definitions requires some initial setup, but it can be a big time saver in the end of a project. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you to get started with Allplan. For more training material, visit campus.allplan.com.